Hello. So today, just a very short update on the management of the operator in IMC. So how we can restrict what they can do and what they can see in IMC. Let's connect to my IMC server. Here it is. Okay, so here I am at the home page and the operator management is in the system part. So first of all, what we can restrict in IMC are both the devices which an operator can view and also the operation this operator can do on the devices. First of all, to restrict uh, the device the, uh, a user can view in IMC, we can use the device group here. So if I define a new device group, okay, let me do it for you. So only one. <laughs> only one device. You can put a rule to automatically add uh, new devices and so on. Okay. So let me at this moment uh, select yeah, all our admin. So I will add device uh, to this group. So let's say only one. Okay. Device view. I will select my, uh, or yeah, my controller and my switch. Good idea. Okay. I click on okay. Okay, so now I have my two devices in my group, only one. Okay, the name is not very good, but yeah. And so if I want to restrict only these two devices to be viewed by one or multiple operator in the configuration of the operator, I need to specify this device group. And also what you can restrict is the custom view the operator can have access to when they connect to, uh, to, to IMC. So this is also another another way to, to manage uh, the, the view of the devices in IMC. So first we have seen what we can how we can restrict the view of the devices in IMC. Second level is to restrict what the operator can do in IMC. So this is made in the operator group here. So in the operator group, I will add a new one to show you what we can do. So when I add a new operator group, so my level 2, for example, I have first to select the default privilege. So admin is full access, so admin uh, total access, okay. Maintainer is by default full access to the configuration of the network devices and, uh, and this kind of thing, but not the platform itself. And viewer is read-only. So let's select maintainer, for example. Uh, I want this user to be able to uh, view, for example, the devices, but uh, not uh, to... I don't want them to be able to add device to configure auto automatic discovery and, and uh, delete device I don't want, modify SNMP template, telnet, SSH, okay, all these kind of things. Okay, so I just need to unselect the box I want to remove and then I can save in order to have my new operator group. Okay, so now I have my device group, my custom view, and also my operator group, so I can add my new operator. So first option, manage all the operator in the internal IMC database. So to do so, I can go to operator here, okay, and I can click on add, for example, okay, let's say uh, test, Okay, test uh, admin. Oh, no. let's put test. Full name, I don't care. Password, I will put password. Okay. And then I select op operator group for the right. Okay. And also, I want to restrict only to the group I defined. So only one. Okay. And I want also to restrict the custom view this user can can view. So if I select only fab home here, I will be able to access only the custom view fab home. And in this custom view, I will see only the device defined in the manageable groups. Okay. So let me click here. Yeah, I don't restrict anything more. You can restrict some uh, wireless things and so on. Okay. I click on okay. 
And now I have my new user test. So I can connect using this user to show you the difference. So first, let me show you what I can see in my custom view when I am administrator. So custom view here. I can see Fab Home on my network view. In Fab Home, I can see all these devices. So my controller, my switch, my Freebox. Okay, all the devices. Also, just to show you, I can see this on the topology. So in my custom topology, if I go to Fab Home, okay, I can see this kind of thing. And now if I connect with my test user, let me open in a new web browser. So my IP address is this one. Okay. I put test, password. Okay, so I am connected. Okay. I can see first device state overview. I can see only two devices. You can see. Okay. Okay, so this seems already that the device group is okay. And if I go to custom view this time, I have only one, Fab Home. If I go to Fab Home, I can see only two devices. So I restrict both the devices itself and also the custom view. And the same if I go to the network topologies, you can see only one custom topology, which is Fab Home. And if I go in, I can see only my two devices I selected in my device group. So you can see device restriction, restriction and a custom view restriction is okay. And finally, if I go to raw source, you can see I can't add or delete devices. If I come back to the other screen, you can see when I am admin, I can add device, auto discovery, import, export devices and so on. So the rights restriction works also. The last thing I want to show you, because it is, there is something very new and very interesting, is that we can also synchronize with Active Directory, Radius, or LDAP servers. So if I go to Operator Management again, you can see here there is Authentication Server. So let me first delete some users, uh, which are bind to my, my LDAP directory, my active directory, because I, I will change some things. Okay, so if I go to authentication server, you will see that you can use Radius, LDAP, or TACAX. Sorry, I forgot TACAX. And in LDAP, you can use generic LDAP or active directory. So I already configured active directory. And what is new since a uh, yeah, few releases, I don't remember which one, is that in advanced settings, you can automatically synchronize the Active Directory operator with your operator group. So if I put, for example, this organization unit, family VIP, I want to map it to my new level two group. Okay. I click on add match rule here. Okay, and now all the users in this OU will be automatically mapped to my My Level 2 operator group. And something really, really new with last patch of IMC is that also now you can restrict to user groups, device groups, and custom view. So if I want to do the same, that uh, the things I just uh, did for the test user, I can define here, for example, Fab Home. Okay. And I can define the device group to only restrict to this group. Okay. And I click on OK. And so now, if I try to connect with one of my Active Directory users, so I think there is um, my wife or me. Uh, let me select uh, the other window, log out. And I think this user is in my Active Directory. And let me put the password. This is the thing I'm not sure. And login. And uh, yes, it seems it was the correct password. And so now I am connected. You can see I can't add, so write restriction is okay. And also let me open the network topology, for example. If I open the network topology, I have only the fab object custom view and only the two devices in the device group. 
And if I check, just to be sure it was in my Active Directory, if I go to Operator Management, my new, yeah, automatically, I can see my new LDAP user, so uh, Active Directory user here, with the correct operator group. Okay, so that's all for today. So thank you for watching this video. And please also like if you like the video and leave some comment and also you can subscribe to the channel. So thank you and uh, cheers.